Hello, this is Hound4004, and welcome back to the Zap SMP, episode 13. <laughs> it has been a while, and I mean, it's been quite some time, a month and a half. That's, that's a bit long. Let's, let's try and fix that. It's time to do some more work, and I thought, you know, since it's been so long, I have some axolotls. They're up here, I've gotten a few more since the one I got a few episodes ago, and they've just been sitting here in a two block deep hole in some water. And I don't remember getting a drip leaf, I think someone actually contributed. Drip leaf! But my goal for today is to make their lives a bit better. So, what comes first? Space or food? We don't want to starve them to death, and I think it's time to give our axolotls a treat. And then I think we should make their environment just a bit more happy. So, I guess let's head over with the Golden Dragon. This is recorded quite some time ago, and we're going to head over, and then he's going to show me a coral reef, and I'm going to go boat around trying to get some tropical fish for the axolotls. So let's of course go. here on the journey. Um, p pillagers, gotta love patrols. Nice. Okay, this is a nice place. This is a village right off the coast of this awesome coral reef. I think I'm going to make this place my little base. Here's my official setup, and I got some empty buckets. Gonna be gathering some tropical fish for the axolotls. I think they need some food. So uh, let's boat around the tropical ocean. I think there should be enough tropical fish um, just swimming around in the coral reef. Let's gather some tropical fish for our little axolotl friends. Okay, that was a successful journey, but in real time, I've been here quite some time. Like, really, I've been here a long time on this little island. And this is a nice village island, don't take it wrong. It's, it's a beautiful little village. Hey, tropical fish, tropical fish, tropical fish alert. Okay, sorry. It's just a nice little village, though, right next to a coral reef. I have a feeling we will be back here. I mean, it's just such a nice little place. But I want to get back to my base. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, this is YouTube. We got to do something fancy style, right? Yeah, you know. We got to build a boat. A Minecraft, regular Minecraft boat will not work. I need to build me a sailboat to get back. That sounds like a good use of time. Let's get started. Well, and there it is, <clears throat> as as horrible as it looks, you know, I, c I can't even get in the boat, but as horrible as it looks, and it's amazing a dirt sail, nice. hopefully this thing will get me back to my base, because I, I want to get off this island. I might come back, but not by this boat, that's for sure, but 
I, I need to get back to the axolotls. Their food's sitting in those, those, uh, shulker boxes right over there. And, and I'm just sitting in a boat that, that floats, yes. So, now that we have the boat, should probably take all the junk that I've gathered from on this island. You know, uh, off camera a bit, I, there's, you know, some sunken ships and stuff around, so, I got some Heart of the Seas and some moss and some random things around, and I decided to collect them. And another box of random things. Here's the main loot that we came for. I got another axolotl, some puffer fish, as you saw, and a whole little bit of some tropical fish. So that'll be some nice food for the axolotl. Then I got a way too many empty buckets, but let's collect these shulker boxes, and I think. I think that's everything I need from this island. It would definitely be fun to come back to this island, and I, I hope we will. I think it's a nice build potential place, but I, I need to get back to the Axolotl, so let's set these down for C, and Captain Hound will continue once we get back to my island. Let's go. Yardy hardy mateys, and we're finally back. It has been so long that our boat has changed shape, and I even have shaders now. Man, it's been a long boat ride. What a long boat ride. I think we should give the boat an official name. I'm gonna call it the SS Failure. Okay, so we're now back here with the Axolotls. As I had originally said, I want to build their home a bit bigger. So, I got the fish for them to enjoy eating, and I got a new axolotl in a bucket. So, I'm going to first dig around their hole so I don't accidentally punch one, and I'm just going to make a nice little environment. Now, my goal is, I don't want them to end up running away. So, it will be contained, so they can't go out of water and suffocate in the air. So, they will have rules on where and they can and can't go, but it's going to be better than a two block deep dirt hole. And skeletons, nice. Okay, and here they are free swimming around their new little home. And I actually just realized that they might be able to escape via drip leaf, so I'm going to grow these a little bit. There we go. I think that's all the drip leaves they can escape from. I think this is a better environment than it was before. A few more things. Why not a little seagrass with my last little bit of bone meal? I put some bamboo that will grow around the place. And this is a better home for them than it was. But they're starving to death, which is not a good alternative. So we're going to go ahead and grab a few. We don't need to use these all up today. But we're going to, you know, give the axolotls a little joy. And there we have some axolotl babies. Yay! This is a better place for them than it was before. Now, before we fully end off this episode here, there's one thing that I still want to do. Old Farmer Brown, it's coming time for Halloween season. And that means, well, let's decorate a little bit. So I'm going to start off by building a pumpkin pasture at my base just to get some pumpkins that I can eventually turn into jack-o'-lanterns. It's not that great or whoopy of a thing this time, but next time, uh, my goal is to redecorate the marketplace and just add a little festive joy around for Halloween season. But, we can't do any of that without any pumpkins, so let's get growing a pumpkin patch. And with that, that has been everything in this episode. It has been way too long. A month and a half? Jeez. Okay, so before I fully end off this video, I had a first successful stream on twitch.tv forward slash hound 4004. Here, here's a bit from that. I don't know. I'm just waiting for it to lag out and reset me. Chunks are loading. That's good. But I am not. Woohoo. 
This is when you know you have a great stream going. This is fantastic. There should be world here, but there's not. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if I can walk. Oh, yep, there it goes. Nice. Okay, maybe not as successful as I would have hoped. Also, to make times even better, since the last video, yeah, Elytra, it's no more. It's gone. R.I.P. I was mending some of my stuff a long, long time ago over in the end at the Enderman farm and fell to my death. There, there went my Elytra with it. So, R.I.P. my Elytra. Now, before all the tragic stuff is even worse, let's let's end off the video, shall we? I guess see you in another month and a half. Actually, hopefully not. It's been way too long. A lot more videos for the Zap SMP coming soon. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give that video a like. It'll help the video and the channel out. And for now, this is Helen4004 saying goodbye.